Hey, what's up Camp Nerd fans, and this is Ian here in the tent with your next tutorial in the oncoming weeks as we're doing tutorials. And this is the next one. I think this is the uh, third tutorial, and which is in the last two tutorials we went through and showing you how to set up Visual Studio and then getting into Visual Studio and making just a simple web browser just to kind of get you into some of the coding. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a borderless form movable and so what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project and then it's going to be a WinForms application and then we're just going to leave this uh, WinForms application you can change it if you want to the default folder and so we're just going to press OK and as that's coming up and which is I know that my cam is going to be in the way so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make myself disappear and so, as you see, is it's creating the project file and everything. This is the point that we're going to be able to do some of the programming. And we're probably going to build on to this later on through the tutorials. But we're going to make a borderless form. So pretty much what you're going to do is to make a borderless form movable. We're just going to stretch this out to right here to where you can see a little bit of it. All right, now, if you go over here, if you click on your form and you go to your form properties. Oh, come on, form properties. All right, and then you see where it says right here, form border style, it says sizable. You can actually click that to different ones. We're just going to click none. That makes it a complete borderless form. Now, we're going to want to add a button to this. And the reason why we're going to add a button to it is that way we can exit out of it whenever we get done. You can do like different things. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take and put a button right here. You can change it. Uh, we're just going to change the properties on this to, uh, let's just say, exit. And so, okay. Now we actually have the form. <clears throat> And now you're going to click on the button, and then you're basically you're just going to type in uh, application dot exit, and then open close uh, brackets, and then to show you that that will exit, what we're going to do is we're going to start and run the project. You can actually use like a uh, hide and things like that exit exits completely out of the application later on if you're going to use buttons to go from like form to form and then open a form and then you got two forms showing or you can open a form and have one form hide and that form come up where that form was at and then to go back you can do like different uh click events and everything so right here as you see we're going to click on exit and everything as it exits completely out and as you see, we got an email from Pet Supplies, uh, which is, I do not have my dog no more. Uh, I actually lost my dog about three months ago. Uh, he was a pit and a Rottweiler mix, and he was, I mean, he, he was a good dog. I ended up, I was out of town for the day, and he was at the house. And when I come back that night, I guess he had got out in the woods, and he had multiple snake bites to his throat and he ended up and suffocated while I was gone and by the time I got to him it was done too late but I will have a picture of him up as well at the end of the video and which is long story short I had him for two years I'm going to do another video of just on him but let's get back to the form and now what we're going to do is in your class section under partial class, you're going to put in uh, private and then bool, and then you're going to do underscore dragging equals false, and then you're going to put in private point underscore offset, 
and then you're going to put in private point and then I'm just gonna do something just so I know what it is uh, I'm gonna put start underscore point equals new point and then <clears throat> we're gonna close that off now in this you've got to create a variable function for start point and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the points 0 comma 0 which is that your int X and your int Y and this is gonna start the process of where it starts and then the start point zero zero so that would be like up in this part of the screen if you know how the pixels work through here all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go to a click on the form and we're gonna do a mouse click event so if you click on your form properties come over here to the lightning bolt where it says events and you're gonna come down to where it says mouse down all right and what you're going to do is you're just going to double click mouse down and it puts the event into the form now what you're going to do is you're going to put dragging equals true and then you're going to put start point equals new point and then now you're going to declare a few things you're going to put e dot x and then e dot y and you're going to come and close that off all right so now we have that part done now we can go back over to the form click on the form properties to the events and then we're going to go back down and you're going to do the mouse move now when you do the mouse move this is a little bit more to it you're going to be using your if statements like what we did in the last tutorial and you're going to put if dragging and then you're going to open that up point and then we're going to put lowercase p equals point to screen and then we're going to put in e dot location and then we're going to close that off and what's that what that is doing is getting the point to the location so when you point to the screen and you go to move it then it will actually get the e dot x and the e dot y positions and then it'll move it so that way it kind of catalogs the positions as it goes all right now we're going to do location equals new point and then this is where we're going to declare p dot x all right then you're going to do dash and then you're going to do this dot underscore start point dot x and then you're going to do the same thing as the value for y p dot y this dot underscore and then it's going to be start point dot y and then we're just going to close that off right there so now we've got our form one move now what we can do is we can go back to the form click on the form and then you're going to go to the form properties your form events and then you're going to go down and you're going to do the mouse up click on the mouse up and then we're going to put the dragging equals false okay this is your basic outlay of moving a form you don't have to reference anything and so let's check it out and see if it works all right now we can just click anywhere on the form and hey check it out it moves 
Now, you can take and go into like your uh, designer and you can add things to it. Like you can add buttons, all sorts of things. You can actually take and rearrange this to say the E, put it up here in the corner. And then what you're going to do is you're going to change that E for exit and you're going to change it to an X. Then you're going to take the... Let's make that red for the color and then the default background let's say let's go to standard let's go to flat all right let's change the background of this say to black and then you can also do like your minimize and maximize buttons as well so now since we have this whenever you look at the form you now have a form that moves you see it moves all the way around and then you can press exit and it exits the application completely so this is how you do a movable form with it being borderless and then you can build your application off from there so just a quick tutorial on how to do that hey this is ian with camp nerd i would appreciate if you would like subscribe and share my channel and also see some of the other youtube channels around with computer programming you can see down in the description below you can go over to barnacles channel you can go see uh the code gasm tutorials it's over there and then also here at camp nerd we have a lot of tutorials that's coming as well so like i said this is ian thank you for joining me in this tutorial session for how to make a borderless form move in c sharp in visual studio community 2015 all right guys till the next tutorial y'all keep everything nerdy in the camp Camp Nerd.